YouTube man, what is going down, bro? I am back at y'all boys again with another I video, man. And look, yesterday NBA Live released it. No, I'm sorry. Oh shit, I'm tipping. Please believe I did not try to do it. That was an honest mistake. But we're gonna get into that. Yesterday, 2K had their first event, man. They had their first event of the year, Court Conquering. Court Conquering, it basically addressed a lot of things, a lot of the problems that we had with last year's game, like last year. We didn't like there was no new content in the park. We didn't like there was not a chance for us to get more VC, free gear, things like that. Like Court Conqueror, in my opinion, was an absolute W. We had a chance to get a free jersey, chance to get 25K VC, which is a lot. 2K usually only gives you a chance to get like a thousand at the most, 2,500. So 25K was greatly appreciated. You also had a chance to get an emblem by your name. And on top of that, the event was double rep. So four hours double rep in your time zone. If you are a finesse, if you know how to jug and finesse, man, you had double rep the whole day because you were switching between service and service. Unfortunately, I'm not a finesse. Hey, if you know how to switch some service, please hit me up on Twitter. It will be greatly appreciated. But if you missed the event, man, I'll kind of run through a brief explanation of it. And you can watch the gameplay in the back to kind of see exactly what it is. There were six new courts in the park area, and on every court, there was a different team. So I kind of remember every team. I know for a fact there was the Celtics, the Wizards, the Rockets, the Timberwolves. Um, who am I missing? The Warriors. Can't remember the last team. Oh, uh, I don't know if I said the Sixers. Well, look, there were six teams, and all you had to do was try to win on every single court. Then you would have became a court conqueror. So once you get that, that's when you get your VC, your free jersey, ETC, ETC. But when I was playing this mode, I was thinking, man, this is really similar to something that I've played before. It's not the exact thing. It may be a slight twist on it, or maybe even a major twist on it, but at the end of the day, I think that this is inspired by something. So let me go ahead and tell you what that is. I think that Court Conqueror is inspired by live events. Now, if you're a 2K only dude, I'm gonna give you a brief explanation on live events. So on live events, it's basically the same things. CPUs versus human. In live events, you unlock gear and you unlock in-game currency. Like last year, you played live events to unlock Babe, Pink Dolphin, Undefeated, Jordans, Nikes, even extended rep for your archetype. Now, the big difference between live events and Court Conquerors is obvious. Live events is 5v5, Court Conqueror is 3v3. And the reason why I think that 2K was inspired by live events and the reason why I think they implemented this into their game is because before yesterday, to the best of my knowledge, I cannot remember any other time that 2K had CPU controlled teams in park, unless the whole team lag out. Now granted, I never played 2K14 park, I missed the original glory day. But every other park, every other year I've played that and I cannot for the life of me remember them ever having CPU controlled teams in the park. I think that this was inspired by live events because last year, live events for NBA Live was a massive W. It was definitely appreciated by its community because Every time you got on that game, you had a new chance to unlock something new. It made the same game kind of feel a little bit refreshed. Even though you're playing the same game, the same product, and sometimes they even recycle some of the same live events because if you missed that gear, they wanted to give you your chance. Live events was something that was completely different from what 2K was doing. They wasn't really trying to copy 2K. They had their own twist. In my opinion, I thought live events was a massive W. Now, I could totally be reaching, but I honestly do think that 2K looked across the table, you seen what your competition had, and you snatched that up, put your own twist on it, and gave it back to your community. Now, if I am right, and if 2K did just basically take what NBA Live had and put his own remix on it, is that a bad thing? In my opinion, no. This is what happens in competition in every single field. You take something that your opponents got, if they got an advantage, you try your best to take that advantage and implement it into your system and put your own twist on it. If you don't, I really don't know how you're successful in business. This happens with Android, iPhone, PlayStation, Xbox, uh, Honda, Toyota. This happens every single world. So I honestly don't have a problem if 2K actually did take this and put their own little twist on it. But if I am NBA Live, if I'm EA Sportsman, I'm feeling some type of way, man, because I'm trying to scratch and claw, make this epic comeback, and the dude that's on top, the company that's on top, is straight up stealing my ideas and giving it back to their community as if it was something new. But also, if I'm NBA Live, and if I wanted to look on the bright side, if I wanted to try to get a little more motivation, this lets me know for a fact they're threatened. This let me know that they looking at us, they peeping our moves, they trying to take what we got because they know we got some good ideas up here. You know what I'm saying? 
But fortunately for EA and NBA Live, man, they got a room full of dudes that genuinely want to make a good game, a room full of dudes that want to put out the best product that they can. I know that they got more banger ideas coming out, man. So y'all let me know, is this a reach? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I will be active in this comment section because I really do want to hear what y'all got to say. But make sure that you like, subscribe, hit the notification so you can join the gang, gang, and dumb. We out. Way, doing all these shows. I've been on the road. I don't care where I go. Long as I get paid. Bad little vibe. She been on my mind. Soon as I get back, she can stay. Do this all the time. This ain't no surprise. Every other night, another movie can made. Jip too hard. Don't stand too close. You gon' fuck around and drown. Off this way.